Hi friends, in this video we are going to see the property named is scaling in the Z domain. It says if X of n is the signal for so Z transform is X of Z. ROC R then Z zero raised to N X of N will have the Z transform X of Z upon Z zero with ROC mod Z zero into R. So let's illustrate this with a simple example. What I will do, I will consider this x of n as a simple signal u of n. And I will plot this so it will be like this. And z transform of this is nothing but 1 upon 1 minus z inverse. Or you can say z upon z minus 1 with ROC mod z greater than 1. And let's show this graphically. So this is mod z equal to. One and we will have the ROC exterior to this circle like this. Now what I'll do, I'll multiply this signal with one by two raised to n. So new signal I will get as this one n is nothing but one by two raised to n x of n which is nothing but 1 by 2 raised to n u of n. If I plot the signal it will be like this 1 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 8 like So for this signal, we know x1, z as a z transform this 1 upon 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse, which is nothing but z upon z minus 1 by 2. And what is ROC? ROC is mod z greater than 1 by 2. So if I show a graphical representation, this is mod z 1 by 2 and the ROC will be like this. The thing is that if you compare these two Z transform, what we will come to know? If I replace here Z by Z upon 1 by 2, that means if I replace here Z with 2Z, what I will get? So, replacing Z by Z upon 1 by 2, that is nothing but 2z in x of z, what we will get x of z where I put z as 2z is nothing but 2z upon 2z minus 1, which is nothing but z upon z minus 
1 by 2 which is same as x1 z i am just trying to relate these two and over here also if i replace z with 2z what i will get the roc will be mod 2z greater than 1 that implies mod z greater than half which is the roc of this so this simple example illustrate the scaling in the z domain for z transform thank you